go. Your next stop in time is the 16th century in the heart of Central America. The century's most important Aztec ceremony should be starting <gasps> right about ceremony. now. But instead of worshiping, there's just a lot of worrying. Better see what's shaking. Here comes your good guide for this trip, Antiquity. No one knows ancient empires like Anne, so you're in good hands. Good luck and good searching. Let's go, Anne. Let's go, Anne. Alrighty, back with the good old Antiquity. Ah, time traveling has got to be my favorite pastime. Ain't it everyone? Okay, Crime Stopper. The year is 1519, and we're in Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire in Central America. Looks like Montezuma, ruler of the empire, is right over there. Oh, please excuse my casual appearance. My formal feather headdress is gone. <gasps> what? Looks like Carmen's time crook has been at work. Let's find out more. All right, got the dude the usual. Ooh, man. All right. Yes? What should we do? We should talk to Montezuma. He looks upset. Uh, simple. See, seen a part of the Carmen note? We'll have to keep our eyes peeled for vile litter. Vile litter. Okay. Greetings, my friends. If that headdress doesn't turn up soon, heads are going to roll. Who are you? I am Montezuma, ruler of the mighty Aztecs. All the land around bows under my dominion. Does it now? What are you do What are you doing? I'm preparing for an important event. The Aztec fire ceremony. Uh-huh. What's the fire ceremony? Once every 52 years, our solar calendar and our ceremonial calendar line up. Tonight is that night. If I don't perform the proper rituals while wearing my special headdress, the sun will burn out. It's like, but do you know that? Okay, JK, what is this place? You are in the island city of Tenochtitlan. From here, I rule the Aztec Empire and all its riches. Tenochtitlan? Tenochtitlan sounds fun. Can you suggest some sites? You should visit our great outdoor market. There, you'll find whatever your heart desires. We Aztecs make no sacrifices. At least, not in the marketplace. Haha, -ha, what do people trade in the marketplace? You can buy cocoa beans, fur, feathers, gold. It's one-stop shopping. Ooh, you look unhappy. What happened? A thief heisted my royal headdress and headed out of here. If I don't get it back, I can't perform the rituals tonight properly, and the world will come to an end! Okay, can we make you another headdress? I could make another headdress, but the feather worker who makes my feather clothes has flown the coop. It's always hard to find good help. What? Can we help you make the headdress? Yes! Go to the feather worker's place, see what materials are there, then find whatever else you need to make some headway on my headwear. Ooh, this is fun. I love food stuff. What are those pots on the ground? Those pots contain cocoa beans, which we Aztecs use to make our favorite drink. Hot chocolate. <gasps> oh we my love gosh. cocoa beans so much that we use them like money. Oh my gosh, they're like purple seal chins. Do you have sweet do you have sweet plans for the cocoa bean pots? Nothing special. You are welcome to take them. Yes! Ah. Okay. <gasps> snake son. Ah, my prize pet snakes. We Aztecs fear snakes a little, but we also worship them. A winged serpent is the symbol of my people. Ooh, Slytherins, all right. That's part of Carmen's note. Our thief obviously slithered through recently. Okay, now the headdress. What if we go full throttle? I'll soon return like... Kit, Kit's caught so sorry. Ah. That big stone is covered in symbols representing myths and rituals of Aztec life. It's called the calendar stone. Imagine hanging that on the refrigerator. Probably need a really big refrigerator, Anne. That book is called a codex. It's a collection of symbols written on deer skin or tree bark. The Aztecs borrowed this writing style from a neighboring culture as they had no writing system of their own. Oh, I see. <gasps> that is one of my royal bird whistles. That is one of my royal bird whistles. Can we just take one? Uh, we can just take one. You are welcome to borrow that bird whistle, but you'll have to put it back if you want to borrow another. No! What if I... No, I can't. I literally can't. Okay, let's go to the... Is that everything? Yeah, it's everything. 
Greeting. Okay, yeah, no, there's nothing there. Farewell. What a mess. Some scatterbrain left things scattered all over the place. Hey, but this looks like a perfect chance to re-outline everything. Ooh, I'm gonna have the best of times right now. Oh, nope. It's <laughs> simple. And I thought we'd had to like get a get a headdress or find a headdress person and then like bribe them for a bunch of hot chocolate to make them the headpiece. Oh no, we're missing we're missing some. Dang. Ah. Shoot. One. <laughs> One ball? Hmm, Two ball. That no. gold nugget seems out of place there. What do you mean seems out of place, Anne? They're all just balls. What? Okay. That wooden frame looks perfect for assembling Montezuma's headdress. Okay, well that should be everything, but we're missing two pieces. We're off to the marketplace. <gasps> the marketplace. I remember this being very fun. Oh, look at that. It's maize. The lady talked. I remember when I was younger, I'd be like, what? That's not corn, but because the lady said it would be maize, right? Good afternoon. Perhaps a trade for you today? Uh, may we ask who you are? I am Iktomato, the best trader in this great marketplace of Tenochtitlan. Okay, who comes here to trade in the marketplace? Why everyone comes to the Tenochtitlan market? Tenochtitlan. It's the place to be. Traders arrive daily from the farthest corners of the Aztec Empire. Ooh, are those fine? What are, are those fine products on the ground yours? Ah, you obviously have good taste if you're admiring my goods. I'm always uh, looking for I a mean, sweet trade. What trade items do you have to offer? I have delicious maize grown right here in Tenochtitlan and gorgeous green quetzal feathers. Anything tickle your fancy? Uh, the feathers. I'd like to trade, but what do you want in exchange? Cocoa beans are the magic item around here. I'll trade for them anytime. They're quite valuable and delicious, too. Um, why are you trading ears of corn? Corn? Oh, you mean my maize. Maize is our most important food. It is grown on chinampas. Hmm, what are chinampas? Chinampas are man-made islands. We Aztecs use them because the moist soil is good for growing maize. Ooh, why are you staying so close to that maize? I need to keep a close eye on that maize or hungry birds will eat it right up. Oh my god, the bird just swoops in. Okay. Those terraced steps give that temple a classic Aztec look. Hmm, okay. Anything else? The Aztecs ate a wide variety of foods, but their main course was always maize. Yeah, I mean, I like how the marketplace is just this lady, but I feel like there should be more people here at the marketplace. It's a beautiful day for trading. Okay, well, hold on. I, um, I know we need two of them, but that one isn't blue. We need this. Quetzal feathers were powerful symbols of Aztec culture. Their most important god, Quetzalcoatl, Quetzalcoatl. appeared as a serpent with wings of Quetzal feathers. Excuse me. Excellent. What would you like to trade for? I'd like Those this. Those feathers make a fine choice. <laughs> like, that's, is, that, is that how you eat, drink hot chocolate? A Carmen note. You really can find everything in this marketplace. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's Bye. see. Come back. Okay. That's a Quetzal feather. It seems though those are green, but we need a blue one. Right? Like we need a blue one, right? Goodbye. Like I'm not crazy. Mmm, yeah, this one. What beautiful feathers. That bird certainly grooms its plumes. <laughs> a hoot oh. for a toot. Seems fair. Oh. Parrots live in the jungles and forests of Central America. That Quetzal bird sports shining feathers, which the Aztecs adored and collected. Mm. The wing feathers of an owl are so soft that the bird makes no noise while flying. Eerie. The eagle became one of the central symbols of Aztec culture. Legend has it the sight of an eagle carrying a snake inspired the founding of Tenochtitlan. Have you ever heard a macaw caw? They're quite loud. Macaw caw. What beautiful feathers. That bird certainly grooms its plumes. All okay. right, back to the palace. So it's not that one. What about... I need to put this back, right? No, put it back. Let's get the red one. Goodbye. Or the orange one, I guess. It's amazing how these birds aren't trying to kill each other right now.
Whoa! For a big bird, that eagle has a pretty small call. It's kind of cute, right, though, actually. Back to the I like eagles. That is one of He likes my whistling, I guess. <laughs> All, All right. right. Okay. Put that back. The yellow one. Watch it be like the Goodbye. last one. Hmm. Okay. That Katinga didn't stop by for long. Katinga. Right. Okay, so obviously we need the corn, but I also want to see how the other bird whistles. Goodbye. I don't think Polly wants a cracker today. All right, back to the pal. So punny, so punny, Anne. Like everyone in Acme probably Goodbye. is trained in pun taking. Why, hello to you too. Okay. All right, back to the palace. All right, so it's the yellow one, and then we need to go get the corn, and then once we get the corn, we need to go get the headdress, and the headdress is gonna tell us the location. We're off to the market. Okay, yeah. Excuse me. Here you go. Excellent. What would you like to trade for? I want this one. Wait, no. What about this one? No. What about that one? <gasps> Which one? Oh, uh, this one. Okay. Bye. Come back soon. I love how the like their pictures for all of back them. Back to though. the. Goodbye. Okay. Corn here. Okay. We fed some feed into the feeder. Ha, <laughs> feeder. <laughs> Good thinking. The blue Katinga had to drop that feather before it could munch up any maize. Question is, right, can I feed the other the birds palace. though? Like... Goodbye. No? Ah! Uh... I don't think... Alright. Sorry, okay, I guess the... Actually, not sorry, but only one bird can go in. Okay, now we have this. We have the feather right here. Well placed, detective. That feather headdress looks perfect. It's just what Montezuma needs to start the Aztec fire ceremony. Ah, amazing. Okay. And then Carmen note. Good work. You've got the final piece of the Carmen note. Okay, nab the headdress. Go full throttle. I'll see what it return like. Keen's a codal? Then keep in mind these special bird words. A hiding place that's for the birds. Wait for me when the thieving's done beneath the Aztec symbol for sun. Was that the eagle? I'll activate the time cuffs so we can put that pickpocket in the pen. Back to the palace. What if we pick them Great before balls we- of fire! Don't leave with that headdress. I need it for the fire ceremony. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, 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 here you go. You have my eternal thanks. With this royal headdress waving on my head, I'll have the world fluttering at my feet. Time to start the ceremony. Yeah, I was about to say, you can't capture the villain before completing the actual quest, though, huh? That crook must be hiding in a different nook. No? Okay, um, where is the sun? Where is the sun? I know Anne must have mentioned it but a while ago, but I don't uh hmm. don't remember which one it was. That crook must be hiding in a different Okay. That crook The sus The vill The <laughs> Right. The criminal must What? It's not behind one of the birds? Aztec simple for sun? Um, that crook m The criminal must- What? Of course, the eagle. the eagle is the Aztec symbol for the sun, so it's time to go supernova on a thief. Ha <laughs> ha. We've squashed Bug Zapper flat for the Bug second Zapper. time. Okay. 
All right, Bugs, it's back to Acme headquarters for you. They'll need to break out the bug repellent. All right, you's got the zap on me. But you'll never catch the buzz about Carmen's real plan. Yes! Bugs <laughs> Zapper yes. is behind bars again. Montezuma is under a new headdress, and the Aztecs have another day in the sun, all because of you, Detective. Congratulations! Wow, thank you, oh my gosh. You've enabled the Aztec culture to fully spread its wings and have a permanent influence on Mexican history and culture. Good going. But it looks like there's fresh villainy ahead. Can you take another case right now? Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> so many cases, I've heard another one.